Am I the only one that feels like games can be like art? In this case, we have wall art. I start making a very innocent little wall in the mountain pass opening. Remember the map where we've got 69% win rate? When Salami, like a petulant, jealous child, is making a big smear of paint right through my painting. He puts a wall through my wall so that I can't complete the wall. So I'll just have to build a wall around his wall so that I can complete the wall. But then he put a wall through that, and then I had to put a wall around that. And then he made a wall. And then you're going to want to see the rest. Hilarious game. <laughs> to build houses, which is a waste. <laughs> Does that make sense? Mother trucker. He can't walk past here, luckily. Yeah, I didn't think about it like that before either. But once I did, I realized I had to do it. God, he got so much better deal out of the Uh, Salami likes to take the wall very early, so you should wall even earlier. Can't be early enough. I've seen you do them as early as 3.30, so I'm doing it even earlier than that. <laughs> Oh, you got way more shit than me. What's 
想要什么？有工作，打通心了。就和质量，全在一手。革命裂开手里，挥动木头。是的，正在去。一球就下，快点走。是的，正在吃饭。他会更好吃，正在移动。拿坏盖套，现在吃饭，免赔，好，是打通心了。先打边再。名字 QQ， 有恭喜，拿会点。这是在社会哦。拿字拿会点，拿坏。现在吃饭。准备现在出发。听好，听说要是我，要工作。听好，那就出发。哈哈，准备现在移动。I told you, he does it really early. 听说要是我，要工作。Nasty hobbits. 听说要去，当然可以。先查边再死，快点走！准备好，联盟。要警惕军事。准备干活，他会干好。各自准备好。进球就下。一套了。是的，领好。准备好，联盟。明天。是。还没建造。有工作，正在移动。是的，领好。各自查边再死。是的，领好。电台，好，三毛，三毛，进攻的，今天再去，谢，您是打通心了，电台准备看我，好，您需要什么啊？他会看到他，有工作，有钱，有钱，现在攻击，现在这边，您需要什么？是的。领好，打会的，有正在去，不分开，领好，有准备，看画面，嗨，您需要什么？打好心了，有钱解码，明白，准备就绪，大家出发，压迫丢，很好，有队，有球权。就像你走吧，村民。准备好，打不动起来，村民。有钱在，家自准备好。现在稳住。干得漂亮。起兵，撤退。是的，为大家准备。他会打通心了。两百兵，出发，起兵。是起兵，下马。
I have two blacksmith, why? I forgot that I already made one. Lul. It's okay, two upgrades. He's already going tier 3. Let's go. 
Interesting game. I just realized he's been H2 throughout all this. Voice is your own shape. Ming Ling, Ma Shang, Shi, Shi, Hong, Pi, 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 Pi,
来临我这就可以。有人正在撤退。云游和恶意听命令。请提线，动起来。
pretty nice. These priests here are just kind of healing.
Now we go for um let's go for gatehouse first actually and we can make granaries Arms, knights, crossbows. Now we should go crossbows too. I feel like too many people don't clear up walls in this game. Doesn't have that many villagers. Hyperlisk's favorite building. The greenery. I knew I looked away for too long. Where are you going? Oh, 
这首诗，我一出，我依照您的指挥移动，蓝金下对你的工程器有何指令？How much does it take to trigger burning oil? More than four. Ah, oh, there it is. So you can dodge it actually. JJ, song is very strong, but that was a cool game. This is why we have 69% win rate on Mountain Pass. And I'm gonna keep winning and losing to keep it that way. Nice. If the opponent meets a blocking wall, he will make a hole where he needs it. If there's already a hole, he may not make a new hole where he should. I don't understand. I don't know if Song is more OP because it's the cost of a third TC and it gives a third C TC. Or if Abbasi fresh food stuffs is more OP where it's half the food. But I think most OP of all is Swabia. What did I call the wall meta in Dark Ages? Well. Yeah, that does come later, Swavia. But Song Dynasty isn't that fast either. I was mostly on, on one town center. I feel like we mostly secured an advantage from one TC. We were same villages all the time. And then we got... Uh, we won the fight. We didn't drop behind Munchen villagers. And we got three relics out of five. 
so we were actually getting the same amount of gold, site versus relic, relic versus site. Yeah, and then of course, once we secured our positions, Song kind of won us. But it's also Imperial Official getting more resources out of everything. Yo, an anonymous gifter, thanks for the gift sub. Uh, welcome uh, to the Grub Club, call me Nitro. Yeah, fresh food stuff is best here for a bit and then suddenly it doesn't matter anymore. Super cool game. Let's um let's check the replay. Do you think Chinese is the best Civ in Mountain Pass? Uh, I think so, yeah. Because Chinese booms better than Rus. However, uh, however good late game siege both have, like Rus best late game siege is Springles, and Chinese is Bombards. But Springles are outrange Bombards, so he's got the chance to win it. And then his men at arms have one more armor, but mine have 30 more health, which gets multiplied with the university tech. So palace cards are kind of the same as normal men at arms. Yeah, he, he has more range with Springles, but then he can't make keeps, but keeps are bad against Bombards anyway. He can't make stone walls, which are kind of a money sink anyway into Bombards. So it's mostly fine for Roost to go up against Chinese late game. Problem being, they produce villagers way more slowly. What does boom mean? Boom typically means economic growth in lieu of military growth. So it's like the mushrooming of the economy. Why not put Barbican in the gap? Yeah, interesting. I used to do that. I stopped doing it for a reason. I'll tell you why. Barbican, as a landmark, cannot be built on top of. So if I make it here once, thinking like, yeah, cool, I got some control here. Once I make a wooden wall here, I can never stonewall here, I can never keep here. It's really, really restrictive to put your landmarks in the gap. This, the closest I would put it is here. Here or here. This is like this whole area should be off limits for landmark production. I'd sooner build it here just so that he can't wall. Even when he kills it, I'll always have vision of it too. When is the right time to get wheelbarrow? Let me check when I got it this game. I'll just go through the replay to check when I got it. If we don't look at anything else, just wheelbarrow. So it's not the right time now because I have no gold and I need to fight over the walls. Right, and then the next gold expense. Note that I'm in feudal age now. The next gold expense must be blacksmith stuff, ranged armor and ranged attack. I think that was, that was a good trade for him. These patterns are unholy. I feel like he's summoning a demon. <laughs> Look at these walls. Okay, I still don't have gold, so obviously still no time for a wheelbarrow. And I would say this is very typical. By 11 minutes, no wheelbarrow. Yeah, global production queue will probably be as part of the main game very, very soon. Right now it's in beta. Soon we'll see it. Okay. I'll tell you the first time I have enough gold for wheelbarrow. Now. It's 1340. We've been fighting over sacred sites, killing each other's villagers and units. I'm uh, six workers ahead. We're both feudal. I have enough gold now for wheelbarrow. I finished most of my military upgrades. Range armor, range attack. Those are most important. I needed siege engineering. I'm thinking eventually about Castle Age, but don't think I'll want to make it before the 19 or let's say, yeah, 18 minute mark. Because you can see right now, I'm, I don't have a lot on gold and food. I'm actually prioritizing archer production. My army is 31 archers. So at this time, I don't think it's right to get wheelbarrow. Actually, now would be the first possibility for wheelbarrow. Because castle is really far away. I've got plenty of walking distance, yeah. Now I would say was theoretically the best time to get wheelbarrow. 
I'm supervising it so it will only take 30 seconds instead of 130. I can't go castle soon. I finished all my gold expenses. It's the best economy upgrade among all that are available to me. Now I should do it. I didn't know... Well... Okay, right now, I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking about the micro of the battle. Right? And I need to keep control of this side. And I was funneling units into his reinforcements. But with a pure 2020 perfect hindsight, I should get Wheelbarrow now. Let's see when I actually got it. Global production queue is going to be a player and a uh, observer or let's say stream viewer functionality where in the top right of the screen you can see all units and research that's in production. If you go to my YouTube and you find first game in rank, that's going to be... Uh... Okay, I got wheelbarrow recently. I just got it at like 16 minutes. So that's like two and a half minutes, three and a half minutes slower than I said I could have. And I got it before I went for an astronomical clock tower. So in theory, I could have clock towered half a minute earlier. But I think it's fine. Wheelbarrow has been great. All that walking distance. So my recommendation would be, if you have enough money for wheelbarrow before the 9 minute mark, you, you're probably being inefficient with something. And the earliest time you should ideally want to have wheelbarrow is 12 minutes. You can, of course, do it earlier. Delhi will always get it earlier. It's free. Sometimes there may be really good reasons for harass safety. Yeah, I think there's definitely situations where you want to get wheelbarrow at eight minutes. Because your villagers walk faster. It's good for cheesing, anti-cheese. Escape with villagers when, when getting attacked. Attack with villagers to tower rush them. Building keeps in the middle of the map. Building red palace in your opponent's base. There can be all kinds of reasons why you want it earlier. But economically speaking, with an eye on the flow of the game, I'd say 11 to 16 minutes or 11 to 14 minutes is normal for a wheelbarrow. And then you look at all my other upgrades, none yet, and I think that's correct. Because I'm making all kinds of more important investments. Scholars lead to a long-term advantage of, of relic control. He already joins one away from me. Did he get three relics, actually? Oh, no, I think I ended up getting this one. I don't think Salami ever got this relic. I had a horseman on it. He decided to let it go. I think horseman is actually my favorite unit now. Such a cool unit. He's, he actually killed a lot, of, a lot of villagers. I'm only two villagers ahead. Let's look at our income. Double my food, more wood. But he's getting no gold. Wait, we really denied his gold with sacred site denial. How come there's such a different, such a big difference between kills and losses? I don't know. He killed 69, but I lost 94. Oh, every wall segment that gets deleted is not considered a loss, but it's considered, it's considered a loss, but not a kill. Every wall segment that we canceled and killed. So the kill stat is more representative than the loss stat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we lost the close one, but we got the far one. This is suddenly where he's got like 26 minute arms against nine palace guards. But I think it was a mistake for him to build walls right here. I think he should have focused on killing my nest of these. These knights did pretty good too. They did well. They didn't do good. This is evil killing villagers. Why horsemen over Mughal camels? Mughal? Who's Mughal? Um, horsemen? I don't have access to camels. I'm not the Abbasi dynasty. Now I'm 12 workers ahead. But I didn't have Song Dynasty yet. He said Song Dynasty is a problem, but uh... 
I think I'm already very far ahead now. We have the same military and I've got 20 workers more and I don't even have Imperial Academy yet. It's my second town center that won this game, not, not Song Dynasty. And I would say it if it were otherwise. Yeah, I'd say we're in a very good position now. GG.